Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I blow soon, soon. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm in a whip, so I gotta zoom. They tryna talk, they not in a room. I was so low, but I'm back on the rise, it's real. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I blow soon, soon. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm hopping now, now I gotta go I'm looking back, they not even close I had a four, now I need a ghost I got a wave like I'm on the coast Same ones are down and I dare to strip I cannot wait, watch how I get it and flip It's just how I'm doing this shit and I'm gone My name is Anthony Zwayne. I uh, have this business, Edge Motor Works, with my business partner, Angelo. We've been in business together for uh, pushing 10 years now. We took over, bought the business um, that I worked for for many, many years. Uh, so we are, we are ingrained in the culture. And yeah, I guess I'm just an automotive enthusiast, unfortunately. Uh, it is my life, it is my passion. Um, it's kind of everything. Uh, when I'm not at the shop working, then I'm at the racetrack coaching instructing, uh, competing myself, racing myself, uh, because I'm kind of fully immersed in this, in this whole environment. And why don't you tell me a little bit about your technical background? How did you get into cars to begin with? Uh, actually, that stems from before I could remember. So as soon as I um, was old enough to start tinkering with my parents' cars and messing those up, I, I was doing that, or um, as soon as I could afford my own car, I bought my car, started just learning as much as I could on it. In fact, I bought a, uh, a textbook in high school, uh, Auto Fundamentals, uh, because I wasn't much of a reader, but that book uh, stood out to me. And then uh, subsequently I went to um, technical training school, Universal Technical Institute, and that was our textbook. I uh, got my degree in automotive technology and just kind of worked my way up. I always was a hard worker and I've always wanted to do this and uh, started out you know, with Dynan Engineering and different uh, dealerships and now I own my own shop. So Tony, tell us um, what you guys have done to this car and uh, why you chose these modifications specifically. Uh, well, most of it's actually the customer influenced on a lot of this stuff. He, he looked to us for advice, of course. Um, we've got uh, very nice Apex wheels, Arc 8 wheels that we had custom machined and bored out for the E39 hubs. Um, and of course, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, because they are one of the best street tires on the market today. Um, he just wanted a really nice riding car. You know, it's a very fun car for him. So we, we suggested the KW coilovers because they are a very good blend between the uh, performance coilover, but that can also be suitable enough for the street. Uh, and comfortable enough for the street as well. So that's what we have going on here, along with the stop tech brakes. Uh, you know, he wanted a little better look out of the brakes, a little more bite out of the brakes. So he opted to go with stop tech, uh, big brake kit front and rear. And what version of the suspension is this? I believe it's just the KWV ones. So it's, um, yeah, I don't think it's an adjustable damper at all. Uh, but again, it's just a nice, comfortable ride on the street, but also gives you a lot better performance than the factory uh, suspension setup and that customizable ride height. And that's what really he really wanted to go with is, you know, making the car cosmetically look good. We like to square it up. It gives it equal mechanical grip at all four corners. Um, it does have some dine and fixed camber plates as well to tuck in that wheel and tire package because with a wider wheel and tire, you need it to go somewhere. And so a little bit of increased negative camber helps it fit underneath the fender wells. I believe Apex does now offer a specific wheel for this application, mm -hmm. but before you would have to bore them out because this is one of the only BMWs with a different hub size. Uh, you know, most of the BMWs are standard hub size. The E39 uh, and especially the M5s had a different hub size, which was very odd. So you did have to get them custom machined at the time that the, the customer put these on. But, you know, one of the best things about this car that I like to highlight is he drives it. He, he enjoys it. He really likes it. It's got over 200,000 miles on it. The S62 is a great engine if it's properly maintained. This one's got some uh, dine and air intakes on it, uh, some software upgrade, just some light uh, exhaust modifications too, because it needs to still be carb legal and registering registerable in California, but also wanted a little bit more out of the car. And for reliability, reliability purposes, as everyone knows, they have the rod bearing issues, which have been addressed on this car. Mostly the other issues are just fluid leaks. As long as you keep your engine oil changed on time, 
these things can be very reliable. Um, yes, they have carbon buildup issues with the, um, the secondary air injection system, uh, and also some Vanos issues can develop. But we feel that if you just actually keep the car maintained properly, those issues don't come up as often. And is this daily drivable? Absolutely, it's daily drivable. Uh, it can be if, if you can put up with, uh, you know, not getting speeding tickets in it because the noise it makes, the, uh, the, the way it drives, it, it, it kind of wants you to push it harder and faster and, uh, than you probably should on the street. Uh, one of the big reasons for that is the geared down differential. It's one of the best upgrades you can do for these cars. They're geared to do over 200 miles an hour from the factory, which they can't really get there because of the weight of the car and the aerodynamics. The geared down differential just puts more power to the ground. It gives you a mechanical advantage and it uh, really helps. It makes it feel like you just gained a lot more horsepower and a lot more torque. What do you think in your opinion makes this shop special? Like what is, what is special about Edge specifically? Uh, that one's easy and it's the family, it's the culture. It's all the people involved, um, whether it's the people that we have working every day at our shop or the people that we have supporting us outside, um, our own families, our own team at the racetrack. Uh, it's a collaborative effort. That sound, man, that sound. This E39 M5 has got a lot going for it, let me tell you. I think my favorite thing, just off the cuff, is the sound coming from that induction. This 4.9 liter has individual throttle bodies, which really add a lot of sound, and that means character. And because of that, you just feel like you wanna rev this thing higher and higher, and what's really unique is, it feels like the torque keeps building and it's giving you a lot of torque even down low. And that is such a stark difference from other V8s that BMW makes. Like for example, the S65, which was offered in the M3 later on in life. I mean, that's a great engine, don't get me wrong, but that doesn't really make a lot of power until you get to the higher RPMs. This one, it just kind of feels like the power's always there, uh, especially down low. I totally get it. I totally get why people want these things and are willing to pay up. They just don't make vehicles like this anymore. This is such an experience. And I think ultimately drivers are looking for the best experience, not just a cool car. This is not a sports car. This is a car that is sporty, but it gives you such a connected like feel. Like you just feel like you know what the tires are doing. The engine's working with you. God, that rear diff really makes a difference too because the car is so eager to pop out of these corners with thrust. I mean, oh, just awesome. Now, traditionally, the M5 is not what I would consider to be a canyon carver. And, you know, look, it, it wasn't really designed to be that. But with a little bit of planning and a little bit of knowledge, you can really make these things handle, I mean, as good as an M3. And that's pretty clear, just if by nothing else, by this example. You know, that's kind of what you want. And you could do that with your entire family in the car. How cool is that? So is the E39 M5 still a relevant car by today's standards? I think that's a great question to ask. Well, in my limited time with the car, I do have an answer. But first, let's start with the looks. I think, and this is subjective of course, but I really do think this M5 is the best looking M5 that exists today. And, you know, the test of time is a really good gauge of that. To my eye, this car still looks great, both from an exterior perspective as well as an interior perspective. Secondly, 
I love the engineering behind this car. I mean, that bomb of a motor is really something to behold. It delivers on the performance promise, as well as giving you something that's amazing to listen to. Individual throttle bodies and double vanos really help drive home that this engine is something special. And never mind that it's mated to a six-speed manual transmission with no automatic option. That's pretty cool. And lastly, let's not forget that as a package, this car is really practical. I mean, it has front engine, rear wheel drive, stick, that's great, but also four doors and a pretty sizable trunk so you could take your whole family cross country in style if you wanted to. I mean, that kind of experience is amazing. And let's not forget that, you know, the values of these things are, are rising. I mean, if you find one with low miles and great condition, it could be in the six figures today. I mean, that's kind of saying everything, isn't it? And of course, yes, there are a couple of Achilles heels that this car has, but if you partner with a company like Edge Motorworks and address them, then you're just left with nothing but positives. A car that's gonna be reliable, that's gonna be fun and fast, that you can drive daily and really enjoy the drive. So my answer is yes, that driving experience by today's standards is relevant. And for all those reasons, I love the E39 M5. So to all you watching still to this point, I want to thank you. Of course, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.